three positive things. We learned a new song for the set list today. Um, if you don't know, Tim and I sing together. He plays the guitar. He's very good at it. Um, I play the bass and we both sing. And we learned a new song and started a new set list today. So that was really fun. So that's number one. And uh, number two is I am hoping to finish all the rest of the Perry houses. And number uh, three is that. It's a beautiful day. It's hot. But I just... I love that I have so much light when the garage door is open. So when the garage door is open, that's always one of my favorite things. You and me, babe. You ready to go not not in the pottery clothes today probably should be but it's laundry day and all I'm doing is fairy house attachments so sometimes you just got to be an artist and artists are dirty
So, I'm making these cuts here, and one of the things on a pierced pot, this side is kind of its own thing. When it's when it's um, when it's when it's square, you know, I can pierce this and go ahead and set the um, set the window and everything. A bit of garage there. Um, but when the piercings are on the same side of the pot, don't knock out this piercing before you cut this piercing. Um, when it's this hard, it's not a big deal. When the clay is this hard, but this is kind of too hard anyway. Um, but it will distort. So if if you knock this piercing out and then you go pierce this, if this is too close to this, it'll distort this in between area here. Um, it also weakens uh, this this area here. If this has something to push back on it, it's uh, much much better. So just a tip from Harvard. <laughs> okay. I lined them all up for you so you can see them all. Aren't they so precious? I love them. Has their own little personality, and I just like this one has a little step. Isn't that, isn't that cute? And this one has a fun little swirly roof. And this one, the roof is on all like that. I love them. I'm not disappointed with the windows either. I think uh, I think they they'll do fine. They take a long time, but so if you guys have any ideas on how I could save some time with these. I would really appreciate some some help on that because you know I was hoping that the window cutter thing would work clearly it does not work um and maybe it saves a little time uh, because it, it will still make an impression in the clay and then I can, you know, work from there as far as cutting on the lines and getting the size. But, I mean, so, is it, is it better than the, no, I mean, when the, last process that I was doing with, you know, cutting it out with the, the little tube thing, that was much quicker to cut it out, but <clears throat> I mean, maybe they just take that long, but as I have said before, if they take that long, I have to go up on my presses, which I don't really want to do, but mm, is what it is. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, there they are. So, moving forward, we have, um, uh, uh, back to throwing. So, at the beginning of this next week, which we're at the beginning of the next week, um, I showed you where we are with the 
um, the dishes or whatever. So at the beginning of this next week, that's that's kind of we're back to that whole throwing a set of dishes a week and doing some fairy houses in the same week. Oh, lots. Um, but you know that's that's the goal. Um, things have been kind of out of routine lately, so I haven't been out here as much as I would like, and I think that's why things have slowed down. But hopefully this next week we get stuff back up and running and um, good stuff. Thanks for coming. Thank you.